Okay, well, actually, it's afternoon. <laughs> My bad. All right, so I just got a awesome package in the mail today that I ordered a week ago. And I'm so glad it's finally here. It's my first ever limited edition collector, collector signature doll. It's from the 90s, and it's Cinderella. Now, this doll actually still has its price. It goes for $74.95, if I'm correct, it says. 97 so, back then in the 90s, it went for limited edition dolls were not in the triple digits. <laughs> uh, it was $74.97 for a signature. That's what it says right there. It says Walt Disney Cinderella. That's what she looks like in the box. Uh, and I got her for $28.54. So that's that's cheap for this kind of a doll, ranging between f maybe forty to uh, two hundred. Uh, this is it says uh, the signature collection fourth in a series limited edition doll. There is some damage to the box, but not it's just like little bits, but it's okay. But let's go head over to my studio. Okay, so here she is. Sorry. Okay, so look at that beautiful box. It is so cute. So she is, it says, the Signature Collection, fourth in a series limited edition doll. So she is my first ever limited edition doll, and I'm so excited. All right, so let's see what she looks like. Okay. I'm going to move that down. So I'm going to show you something really cool. Back then, with limited edition dolls, this could open. Let's see if I can get this to open the way it's supposed to. So, that opens. Ah, you know, ah, I'll have to hold this to do it. So you can see this beautiful dress, gorgeous. Of course, this folds out, so you get Cinderella and Prince Charming together while they're dancing in this beautiful background. It's like a little pop-up, so you can see the shadow here. So let's close it, and let's go by the design. All right, so you can see the price tag's still on. You have the two birds right here with this beautiful bow that actually goes around the window. And of course you have the slipper, the iconic slipper that we all know she loses while running, fleeing from the castle. You got Gus and Jacques, and then the little female mice, I can't remember her name. Well, in the live action, her name's Jacqueline. But yeah. That's live action. And you have another little mouse right here. This is actually silver, this little design. It is silver. And it's so cute. And of course, we have Walt Disney logo with Cinderella. And you got Mattel. So this is a Mattel. This is, of course, it says uh, for the adult collector over 14 years. And it has a little code right there, which is nice. So it's a solid blue on the side. And then the back, I don't know what that is, that's, that's a cell slip, cell thing, so it's not as detailed, it's detailed, very beautifully detailed, but it doesn't have that silver uh, dimension, but it shows what she would look like, so gorgeous dress, I love how she's on the bridge, and of course it says, Dancing in the arms of her prince, Cinderella, a vision of beauty and grace as her magnificent gown catches the light of the stars in a sparkling of fairy dust made of sparkling sequins and rhinestones just before the clock strives twelve. And also it says down here, this magnificent limited edition Cinderella is fourth in a series of Disney collector dolls from the Signature Collection. Each doll wears his or her signature fashion and is displayed in a dimensional setting from the classic Disney animating film. And it also has a certificate authenticity card, a reply card, and a doll stand included, which is nice because 
she's not going to be in this box much longer. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to unbox this beauty and we'll see that card of authenticity and see her in full display. So just give me a moment, I'll be right back. Hello and welcome back. Okay, yeah. Alright, so she is out of the box. That took some time. I can tell you threads and ties and all that and tape. Yeah, that's crazy. That was crazy as all get out. Okay, so there is a thing that they left that was in the box. Let me get to that real quick. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's out of date. They had this like little card thing talking about like how you liked it and all, so I'm pretty sure they're out of business, maybe. I doubt I can send that back. But then I did get the, authentic the certificate of authenticity. Uh, it says Walt Disney, Cinderella, Disney, Collector Dolls, The Signature, Collector's Limited Edition, 4th in Series, Limited Edition. And it says, you are now the proud owner of a Disney Collector Doll from Mattel. Cinderella is a vision of beauty and grace in her magnificent sparkling sequin gown, dancing under the stars just before the clock strikes 12. Uh, the magnificent... Yeah, I've already read that in the box. Yeah. And so, of course, you got the signature collection. Printed in Indonesia. But, of course, I don't think they did... Unless that's probably some code. Um, but yeah, they definitely don't do the same op this authenticity cards as they do now, which give you what number you have. But that's what they have. Alright, so let's get to the doll herself. So, I'm kind of a little interested in this hairdo we got up here. I love the bangs. The bangs are beautiful. Let me see if I can turn her. It's this stuffing underneath her. You can almost see straight through the bangs. I love how they... My hair, I used to have hair like that. I like the hair. It's kind of almost like a strawberry blonde, but it's more of a dirty blonde. Um, her hair is like I can't press on that because it's got super super uh, hairspray in it like super hold hairspray I love her headband it goes great let me see if I can get a little closer to those eyes those eyes those are rooted eyelashes she has rooted eyelashes she's so gorgeous I love her earrings let's see if I can turn her and get those little earrings it's adorbs all right, let's go to her. So she has her black choker on. This so is one of the reasons why I love chokers is because of Cinderella. She put it off. And, of course, you got these sequins right here on her bodice. And you have a different embroider. Oh, I'm sorry, but, the, you know, I'm going to see if I can turn one of these off. These lights so you can get a... Excuse me. A visual of what her um, bodice looks like. So she has this like chiffon like uh, sleeves and then she has like a, a silk like part right here and you got the sequins and of course the kind of line through her uh, bust right through here the bodice and this is embroidered. This whole piece is bordered with silver and uh, like matted gray which is gorgeous and of course her dress comes to that kind of iconic V that we all see and I'm gonna turn this light back on and of course it comes out to this beautiful A-line ball gown which is gorgeous uh, definitely as a 
collector. I don't, there's two different kinds of collectors. You got collectors who love to keep their dolls in boxes in mint condition. I am the opposite. I like them out of their box so they can shine even more. And of course, collectors have evolved throughout the years, especially with Disney's collectors, because they ha you now see that uh, pristine clear box with just a background. You can see above, beside, on both sides, and it's better. I think those are better. They have definitely evolved better. Uh, and of course, there's her gown. Her gown is actually, I think it's made out of silk. Oh no, I'm getting dog hair. I'm starting to get dog hair on this. I'm definitely, no. Yeah. She's going to be up on one of my shelves. And of course, let me go to her gloves. So, I'm just going to see if I can pull this glove off. Okay, there we go. I got the glove off. I want you to see this. They have a ring. She has a ring. That is so darn cute. Let's get to that ring. Yeah. Uh, like, of course, she's going to have that glove back on. So let me go put that glove back on. Alright, so we're back. I have the glove back on. And we're going to... So I have the tissue paper underneath. So that's what that looks like. Look, oh no, dude full. She has a crinoline right there. You can see the crinoline underneath. And then I have the tissue paper, which gives the ball gown her fluff. So I'm going to get that in there. Look at those shoes. Those shoes are too cute. They look just like now her legs are plat that rubber old rubber that they used to do where you can bend the legs and stuff but yeah so there's the cute little heart on the iconic shoe now i did have to rubber band these shoes on her because that's how they weren't they didn't come on her so i just basically rubber band the shoes you can get these little rubber bands in like the hair supplies. You can get clear, you can get and white. She's so gorgeous. Uh, let's see if I can turn her around. So that's the back. So it does Velcro in the back like that. And then, of course, you got the little puffs that are chiffon, which lay like that. Which, oh, she's so gorgeous. And of course, her necklace is held up over here with a uh, fishing wire, which is nice, and that's the hairband, that's the back of her hair. She is super gorgeous, and I love her to pieces. I am going to try and steam out her dress so it looks more pristine and all. So I'm really, I'm very satisfied with what she looks like. So this is Cinderella. just want to go back and just look at her face. Her eyes are gorgeous. She has that iconic blue. And then right here, she's got rooted eyelashes. And then if you look, she has two she has her silver eyeshadow and then a blue and then her crease is with a brown. She's got that yellowish gold brown hair of her eyebrows. Soft pink lips which are beautiful. So I'm very, I'm very pleased about this. I'm so glad to have her. That I'm going to take care of later. But yeah, that's Cinderella. So this is what I've done. Here we sit. So if you can see, I now have Belle right here and Cinderella on my shelf. Look at that. And then of course I have Cinderella and the live action Cinderella right next to each other. Oh, oh my goodness. And then I have Belle and then her live action doll and the Funko Pops and everything else. So that's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, I'm about to cry. They look absolutely gorgeous. If you can see throughout the video she had wrinkles so I took the dress off and I steamed it 
so the wrinkles are completely out. Oh my goodness. She's, I thought I've never, I will never find, would have found a Cinderella that's more like the classic cartoon than anything, and I'm so glad.